that's just a summary of how my day is going. Let me let me sit down. Good morning, guys. Uh, right now, we're looking at a smooth 1122. Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, basically just record my life and anything that goes on in between there. Today, in this video, we do have a scrimmage, but I just want to kind of give you guys a rundown of the morning. Um, this morning, I got logged out of my email. Actually, that's not true. I made a new email last week. I didn't realize that I had to like log back in. So let's just say I missed about three days, four days worth of email. So I missed a meeting. I didn't know the practice plan for what we had to do, when I had to be there. I just didn't know I had to like log back in because it kept pulling up an email. So I was like, whatever. This morning I went to study hall. I was running late because I didn't know about my meeting. I've never been like really big in like the holidays. Not the holidays. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. I've never been really big in like the weather and how it kind of can dictate your mood and like how kind of things are going. When I woke up and saw it was cloudy out. Yeah. Um, so my day has been like a little muddy, basically, just like, but yeah, so basically like my freaking phone is all jacked up. I have a meeting at 12 o'clock. We have a scrimmage we have to be prepared for by 1.30. You gotta be on the field by 3 o'clock. 3.30 is when we'll start. But it is a little cloudy out. And I read this verse. When things go wrong, go find a verse about it, man. At least learn a lesson if you're gonna go through something. First Corinthians 5. I wrote to you in my letter that you should not associate with people who sin sexually. But I did not mean the people of this world. You would have to leave the world to get away from all the people who sin sexually or who are greedy and, ch and cheat each other or who worship idols. I meant you must not associate with people who claim to be believers but continue to live in sin. Don't even eat with a brother or sister who sins sexually, is greedy, worship idols, abuses other people with insults, gets drunk, and cheats people. It is not my business to judge those who are not part of this group of believers. God will judge them. But you must judge those who are part of your group. Make the evil person leave your group. I think I am pretty strong when it comes to discernment and knowing good people from bad people and knowing right from wrong. I think I do very well at determining my crowd and who I interact with and things like that. But when I read that and it said, it is not my business to judge those who are part of those group of believers, God will judge them. But you must judge those who are part of your group. And I think like, dude, just being mindful of who you're around, uh, who you interact with, who you tell people stuff to, bro, that can literally almost make or break you if you're not careful. So I, I read that verse. I thought it was really big. I really liked it. But anyways, I'm about to do some yoga. Film Sam, but if you're new here, thank you for watching, clicking on the video, coming a part of the journey. But yeah, let's just just do some yoga. I got about 10 minutes to spare and then we'll drive over um, and just kind of keep it going with the day. Let's roll. soon as we start getting into fall uh, i'm gonna start doing some fall hoodies just kind of be on the lookout i do have a couple more t-shirts left as well if you guys are interested in those want to check those out i'll be back in like we about to find out and if y'all never see this video somebody stole my camera simple there we go Your music right now, we're into the field. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys in the locker room probably. So,
What's up guys? So the scrimmages are over, but I'm not going to talk about them right now. Uh, I'm going to go for a little drive, and we're going to talk about it like we did in the last video, so later. I don't know what time it is. I told y'all I'll pick it up later, but we got food line, bro. I'm about to show y'all some groceries I'm about to get for the crib. I know I need some milk. I mean, not milk, but I need some more orange juice. Uh, I need some candy. I see none of those, so let's continue. Bag of trolley. Cherry berry once. Alright. I've been drinking this V8 Smash. It's like fruit punch. Good stuff. Grape juice. Thank you for watching my grocery haul. Let's go find a place to park and let's just have a calm little chat. I'm probably not carrying this video to tomorrow. Let's go find somewhere to park. And uh, it's only 9.40, so doing pretty good on time. Go home, shower, hop in the bed. Right now it's 10.36. Uh, I came out to this, is, this is like the shopping center. Um, so I hope nobody walks by. About live at bats today. Um, 0 for 2. I did catch a barrel. It was a fastball. Down and low. A little out. Mine drive to right center. On a high school field, that definitely would have been gone. It was probably close to the warning track, but it was very hard hit ball. Then the second at bat. It was a pop-up. First pitch of the inning. Um, I let off the inning. Popped up. Freaking fastball. It was a middle out, but kind of unacceptable. Not even kind of. It, it is, and I'm just trying to be easy about it, but really depressing. Really sad at bat. Straight up. I was driving around for probably like 45 minutes. And I'm kind of getting in that little mode where, you know when it's like the temperature drops and they call it like a winter arc? Let's just say I'm about to lock in. Like, you know what I mean? Not, not like that, it's just corny. But I really just want to focus on so many things, like all my content, my videos. There's a lot of things that I'm like good at, but I should be so much better at if I just take time to do what I gotta do. And I wouldn't say I procrastinate, but I think my mind is in like so many different places all the time. I tend to have a hard time kind of doubling down on those things that I'm always conscious of or the things that I want to work on. Like the thing in my swing, I did it once. I was able to stay down on the ball like I talked about last week. And then I freaking messed around and did the same thing on the next pitch. Like, so I, I flared a pop up on an 0-0 pitch to start the inning off. And those are just like things that can't happen. As much as I should learn from them, like they just should not happen. And I kind of like, brings you down a little bit just mood wise because it's just like you're working on things you're working on things and i get it so don't even be in the comments and be like oh that's baseball i know i know it's baseball i promise honestly i just want to keep trying and keep focusing and relaxing and spending time with myself that is something i haven't really done a lot of but i don't know man i just want to focus and relax and kind of let god do whatever he's gonna do yes he knows the plans and however things are supposed to be and how things are supposed to work for me. So I think I'm stressing too much, not stressing, but I think I think about a lot of things that I really should just pray about and call it a day. Realistically, I should just pray about it and deal with it another time. Sometimes I'd be like fighting mental battles about certain situations or thing that's going on and it's not even my responsibility. That's something I'm gonna keep in mind, but right now I think I'm gonna head home. This is actually really relaxing, but tomorrow we have another scrimmage, and I'm uh, probably not going to post about it. If you guys stay till the end and watch the whole video, thank you guys. And uh, if you're new here, make sure you guys try to, you know, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and welcome to my college journey and uh, all the ups and downs that come with it. So, see you guys in the next video. But don't forget that verse I said this morning, 1 Corinthians 5, verse 6, I believe. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. Go back to the beginning of the video and check it out. I'm going to see you next video. Bye, guys.